Hi there. Welcome to chapter seven, where we are talking about sampling distributions. So we're going to start with an introduction to what is sampling distributions and how can we calculate some of their basic information. So by the end of this video or by the end of the in-class lesson, hopefully you can distinguish between what a parameter and a statistic is. You can use the sampling distribution of a statistic to evaluate a claim about parameters. You can distinguish among the distribution of population, the distribution of a sample, and the sampling distribution of statistics. So those are three unique things you need to know, um, kind of a comparison and contrast, and then determine whether or not a statistic is an unbiased estimator of a population parameter. That's a specific vocab, and so whenever they ask you to use it as an unbiased estimator, you are comparing it back to its um, sampling mean. So make sure that you recognize that uh, formal definition right there. And finally, can you describe the relationship between sample size and variability of a statistic? That's kind of our last little slide. So introduction, the process of, a, of statistical inference involves using wide information, but we can use different sample seals to yield different random samples to yield different statistics. And this is uh, what we describe as our sampling distribution to understand their values and to perform that inference to perform a true statistical inference. We think of statistics as a random variable because it takes numeric values that describe the outcomes. However, you know, we take a population from its population, we take a sample, we collect that data, and then we can make an inference back about the population. That's the true uh, process that we're going to go through. But how can we know that we're using a true random sampling and how do we know about sample distribution? So let's get into that detail. So first and foremost, in order to understand sample distributions, we have to understand the difference between parameters <coughs> and statistics. Sorry, excuse me. So a parameter is a number that describes some characteristic of the population, whereas a statistic is a number that describes some characteristic of the sample. Sample. So they just want you to remember some simple uh, letters right here. S is for statistics, is for sample, and P is for parameters for population. So it's again, these words just mean description of characteristics, but parameter is specifically for a population, and statistic is specifically for a sample set. So uh, here, just a recall, we write uh, the Greek letter mu, which, where'd my pen go, which looks like uh, this for the population, and we write X bar for the sample mean. We use P to represent population. Um, sample P would be P hat, et cetera, et cetera. So there's just a description, just a reminder of what our variables in our notation is. When we see that on the AP statistics exam, it's not confusing. We have seen mu as mean so many times for population, and we have seen x bar as mean so many times for sample population. So just please don't get those two confused. So now it's your opportunity to describe the difference or really understand the difference between your parameter and your statistics.